Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week beginning Monday the 12th of April 2021. I've just come home from work. It's absolutely pouring down with rain. I've just sat down and <laughs> in my jersey and everything to keep warm. And um, yeah, it's pouring down. It's been a hectic week and we are getting these done. So hopefully you can hear me over the rain. Um, these are general readings only. Just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So we'll just start because this is for the 12th to the 18th of April 2021 and this rain is getting heavier and it's getting darker and um, yeah. Hopefully I'm not called in tomorrow. I've been training a new guy and he's going solo first thing tomorrow. So um, hopefully I don't get a phone call. <laughs> anyway, you get number 38, Lizard Spirit, Dream the World into Being. Love that. Okay, so it is, it's like, yep. Control, have some control of your dreams and your wishes there and make that a reality dreaming realistically to make it happen you know and lizards they um i love them we get the little geckos here always call them lizzie like thin lizzie all right aries moontology you get the gibbous moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Love that. So, gibbous moon, very close. Bursting at the seams. And, um, yeah, you're very close to achieving your goal. And you're dreaming the world into being. So, that's a bit of a perfect match. Love that. I can't believe this rain. It's like, I hope I don't have water start coming inside. <laughs> <laughs> and saying that I've had to work all week and um, last night the neighbours decided to have a party but I can say when it started because we've had this for just about all day but it was like last night it started to rain it's like yeah that party stopped pretty quick because <laughs> they're all outside <laughs> so um, oh god watch what I'm doing try that again Aries Right, we'll begin. Desperately, I said on the other one, desperately need my fringe cut too, so. Okay, Aries, overall, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, so there is success happening here, okay? So, good fortune, good success is happening, things are falling into place, and um, yeah, looking pretty good. Okay, so past energies. You've got the Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Princess of Cups. There may have been some options when it came to love in the past, and you're actually standing back thinking, mm, well, which one do I choose now? And that wheel may, may have been bringing you some good fortune, giving you some momentum, giving you some good choices and options to make, and towards this love here. Present energy, you've got the sun, the king of wands and the deceiver. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but there's a sense of freedom and release. And hopefully it's to do with this here. It's balancing this out on the other side, breaking this energy up, breaking those chains. Okay, because you're in control of the situation, in control of your dreams and where you're heading towards. Dreaming that world into being. But just being aware that this energy may still be trying to put a stop to something that you're planning. Okay, but you are very close to achieving the goal. And your future energies, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, it could be an apology on the cards, whether that's you or them, but there is this brand new beginning here. So maybe breaking that energy up allows this brand new beginning to start, eases this pain that you've been going through. That cycle's finishing with the Ten of Swords. New beginning can um, stop that cycle from being stuck at that ten of swords at that painful energy there but um equal give and take making sure things are balanced okay with whatever this new beginning is 
but letting that, um, you know, maybe some gossip and backstabbing, a lot of painful energy that has been happening, but allowing that to finish by bringing in some balance back into a situation and focusing on a new beginning that you're able to go after. Okay, so Aries. Sounds like it's slowed down a bit, so I felt like I was really yelling. So Ten of Pentacles, you get the Hermits, Six of Wands, Three of Wands. So doing some soul searching, seeing there's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, to go towards the success, because there is victory here. Seeing the bigger picture, seeing things for what they are, maybe seeing the person for who they are, and it may be in a more positive light, because there's light at the end of that tunnel. So you may be seeing them in a more positive way or a situation more positively than um, negatively for some of you. Past energies, you've got the Seven of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune, which you've got next. Temperance and the Nine of Cups. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but doing things in moderation, not overindulging in things and coming out with this emotional love and happiness and that good luck and good fortune that's pushing you forward, allowing you to make better choices maybe. As you clarify this Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, which you have down here. So yeah, persistence, not giving up, being able to walk away from some sort of deceptive energy that's caused you all this pain. And as we said, that cycle's finishing and you now have the confidence and that strength to pick up um, swords, so to speak, and walk away with what does serve you. She got the Princess of Cups with the Four of Swords, Knight of Cups and the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. But um, yeah, after walking away from that, having to do some self-healing. Everybody does that at some stage, but there is love here. Quite confident to come in and um, offer this cup of love for you. And it takes strength to accept that. It takes strength to offer it. it Maybe you offering it to someone else, but um, either way, it does take strength. Okay, present energy, you get the sun with the ten of cups, the devil and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, so in order to break this energy up, you, you know, you've got that devil there as well around the sun. So something's still keeping you bound, keeping you chained and trying to stop you from reaching that emotional love and happiness and stability that you're wanting there. You just feel like that you're constantly tying these loose ends up and constantly working to keep things in place. And it may be all you're doing. It may not be equal give and take that we've got at the end with the Six of Pentacles. It may be you doing all the hard work, which means in turn somebody's taking that. And that can be a devil energy or negative energy that um, is hanging around there. But Aries, you've got the King of Wands with the Moon, Ten of Wands, and the Two of Cups. This love here may be to help ease this burden where you are feeling like you're doing everything yourself. Don't be afraid to accept help or um, offers of help, whether that's from somebody significant, whether it's from family member or friend. With the Moon card, could be dealing with a Pisces, but um, talking about hidden fears. But you have been carrying this weight on your shoulders and as I said that cycle's finishing and it may be taking two of cups love to come in and help ease that. And it um, doesn't have to be love love but for some of you very well maybe. Let's go to this deceiver energy here Oops. with the five of cups, the emperor and the two of wands. That's your card. Could be dealing with another Aries. Very strong masculine energy with you on this journey. You know, this deceiver energy is giving you this of feeling like there's some sort of emotional loss or grief that you're bound to and you can't let go of. But that emperor is allowing you now to get your sights and visions on something new and know that um, there may be some movement forward that needs to be done to start heading in that new direction. And with that emperor card there, as I said, that's your card and allows you to move forward and very much gain control back of a situation there. Future energies, you've got the Ace of Wands with the King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Yeah, and again, getting control of your dreams and your goals, where you're heading towards. Okay, feeling at a crossroads, but take that blindfold off 
allow yourself to see um, clearly and make a decision on when this new beginning is going to be heading towards in order to gain that successful outcome, that Nine of Pentacles, it's able to be done. Okay, so Ten of Swords, you get the Death card, Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, which you go into the Six of Pentacles, and we we're just talking about equal give and take, making sure things are balanced, maybe again when it comes to love. But um, could be dealing with a Scorpio, releasing the energy that you don't need and riding into this brand new beginning. And it might be love that you're riding into here. Okay, but making sure it's equal give and take in order to stop this pain from um, continuing there. As we clarify this Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay, so clearing the crap out that you don't need, allowing this brand new beginning to start. Future energies, you've got the Ace of Wands as well that you clarified. So there's definitely a new beginning happening here. Okay, but don't turn your back on everything else that you miss the opportunity because you're very focused and dedicated. And um, again, needing to keep things balanced, especially when it does come to that love there. But getting the control of your emotions, getting some stability back at the end. So love that. Beautiful. Okay, so Aries, we'll see what the universe has. Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. But again, working hard to keep everything in place, get everything and getting everything together. Okay, tying up loose ends to get this successful outcome. Good luck, good fortune, and inundated with success there. And somebody's on this journey wanting to be with you and work with you and make a successful go of things. So love that. Okay, so Aries, we'll see what the Star Temple has to say. You get number 34, the visionary, awake, with an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. Three of Wands, that you clarified overall, seeing the bigger picture, love it. Okay, so star words, aware, revelation, expansion. You are the visionary, awake to your intuitive perception. You have the power and potential to see the higher perspective. Asteropi guides you to step into your intuitive light with love and insight for self-awareness and expansion. You are a peacemaker that inspires unity, oneness and higher consciousness. You have the gift of inner vision and intuitive foresight. With this power, you look forward and can see your goals materializing in front of your very eyes. Dream extravagantly as your vision will manifest with courageous intent. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Gibbous moon, you're very close to achieving your goal. So Aries, love it. That's what I have for you. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, share and comment if you want. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.